New at 4.30, after months of delay and a number of protests, a statue has finally been removed from the now-closed St. Adelbert's Church in Pilsen. But it wasn't moved without a fight. CBS 2's Charday Gray live for us outside of the church where that statue now sits. And Charday, a lot of drama today. Exactly, Jim and Marie, and that statue is now safely inside St. Paul's Church, but there was a lot of commotion to get it here. But first, the outcry begins at St. Adelbert. Precisia. That's the special. The removal of the beloved La Pieta statue of St. Adelbert Church in Pilsen has left parishioners angered and upset. I hope you guys know you're helping the devil. In hopes of stopping the statue from being removed, several stood in front of the flatbed that was transferring it to another church. Come on, guys. Let's <coughs> they refused to move. <coughs> in the end, police arrested five St. Adelbert parishioners. Rosa Ibanez talked to us before officers hauled her away. I felt like my heart was breaking. A part of my soul was breaking because they don't need to do that. The parish has been trying to move the statue since late August, but the plan to do so was stalled due to issues with permits. It's emotional. I mean, being born and raised in this community all my life, a parishioner here, a choir boy. Uh, you know, I played a guitar here all my life, and I, I saw my siblings get married in this church. It's an emotional day. This 6,000-pound statue, a marble replica of Michelangelo's Piatta, went to St. Adelbert Catholic Church to St. Paul's Catholic Church, which crews ran into several issues of getting the statue into its new home. The Archdiocese says in a statement, it was the decision of the people of St. Paul Parish, which includes the former St. Adelbert Parish, to move the statue to their active, vibrant church. The Archdiocese also tells us the statue will replace a previous statue inside of St. Paul's Church. Meanwhile, parishioners fear now that the beloved statue is gone, the now closed church faces the wrecking ball. Reporting live in Pilsen, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charday.